I am Professor Milligan. Welcome to Ask the Professor, where I answer questions on investing in a plain and simple way. I did have a question. In fact, I've had several of my former students and other individuals email me this question. The question that was asked to me was, Mike, what is an inverted yield curve? Why should I care that the yield curve is inverted? Before I even get into what an inverted yield curve is, first and foremost, what is a yield curve? A yield curve is nothing more than a line that plots the yields, interest rates, for a debt instrument that have different maturity dates. The most commonly used debt instrument for a yield curve are the treasuries. So when you hear them talk about the yield curve, the proxy is, and what Wall Street is using, is the treasuries. A normal yield curve, normal classic yield curve, has low short-term rates, high long-term rates. Basically, the reason why the short-term rates are low, it makes money cheap for corporate America. And the long-term rates, the reason why they're high is because the long-term investors in treasuries are worried about inflation. That's the reason why you have low short-term rates, high long-term rates. A classic normal yield curve is bullish for the U.S. economy. Right, let me say it again. A classic normal yield curve is bullish for the U.S. economy. Money's cheap. As you know, during our last recession, during our last sell-off in the marketplace, the Fed took interest rates down to zero short-term rates, making money cheap for corporate America. An inverted yield curve is when your short-term rates are higher than your long-term rates. Again, inverted yield curve is when your short-term rates are higher than your long-term rates. That's inverted. Here's why it's, it's really important for you guys to understand. In my lifetime, I'm not going to tell you my age, but you know, the gray beard's giving it away and all the gray hair. In my lifetime, every recession was preceded by an inverted yield curve. Let me say it again. In my lifetime, every recession was preceded by an inverted yield curve. In fact, we look at an inverted yield curve as a leading indicator. The two yields that we look at to become inverted that have led to every recession is the two-year treasury note and the 10-year treasury note. And when the yield on the two-year treasury note is higher than the 10-year treasury note, 6 to 12, 6, 12, 18 months later, the U.S. economy has gone into recession every time this has happened. The last inverted yield curve we had was in 2019. The 10-year was lower than the two-year. Wall Street uses the two-year and 10-year treasuries on the yield curve to forecast recessions. The Fed uses short-term rates, particularly the Fed fund rates, to fight inflation. What they do is the Fed actually moves interest rates higher, making money more expensive for corporate America. So therefore, they'll do less projects, they'll do less expenditures, they'll hold money. And also what it does is it slows down the economic growth. Now, the challenge the Fed has is when they do this and they invert it, and they know what they're doing, the challenge they have is it's trying to step on the brake where you're steering the Titanic. They're not sure how hard to step. If they step too hard, they'll slam us into recession. If they don't step hard enough, we're not going to slow down and inflation is going to keep taking over. This is the challenge the Fed has. Now, what you're seeing over the last couple of, couple of weeks and a couple of days is you're seeing portfolio managers now reposition themselves in the marketplace to get ahead of what they predict, predict is going to happen, and that is that we're going to go into recession. For those of you who are worried about the recession, bottom line is this. The Fed will do whatever it takes to fight inflation, and we need to fight inflation. So every time this is, has come up where the Fed is worried about inflation and fighting inflation, the Fed has raised short-term rates. I expect the yields on the 10-year Treasury, 20 and the 30-year Treasury to go down, which means their prices are going to go up, their yields are going to go down. There's an inverse relationship between interest rates and bond prices, especially the longer maturities. If we're going to invert and short long-term rates are going to go down, the way to put money in your pocket is to go along the 10-year and 30-year Treasury. Over the last 100 years, every inverted yield curve 
where the two-year treasury was higher than the 10-year treasury has led to a recession in six to 18 months. Thank you for watching the video. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button. Look for more Ask the Professor videos on Fenstream TV. You can follow me on Instagram at Professor Milligan. Tune in every Wednesday on the market close for my Wall Street Wednesday, where I discuss the market, trading ideas, strategies, and things of that nature. Feel free to email me any questions that you might have. You never know, I might do a video on it. You can email me at askprofessormilligan at professormilligan.com.